Tom Tugendhat. He might well be out of the race today. What do you think? Well, he might be, but he might not be. I think he's ignited this race by standing up and saying we need integrity back in politics, that we need to look at making sure that voters can trust us. And in the two debates so far, if you look at who the public is saying they'd like to see in the final two, and if you're looking at who the public's saying they'd like to see in number 10, Tom is showing through very strongly. And I hope my colleagues will be looking at what the public want rather than just what they want. The argument that he is prosecuting Tom Tugendhat is that he is the only clean break candidate. If you follow that logic, it suggests that all the other candidates are a problem if we accept Tom Tugendhat's premise that he's the only clean break uh, candidate. Is that a problem for you? I'm not getting in the, into the blue on blue. I'm there to put Tom's case positively, which is that we need a clean start. We need some fresh faces at the top table. We need a government of all the talent so that we can govern for this country. We've got some severe problems with the economy, uh, some of, a lot of which is uh, caused internationally, as you know, cost of living. We've also got a major problem in Ukraine. Tom has shown through his background and his service that he'll absolutely be on top of that. And he's also shown, I think, throughout this campaign, we're not doing blue on blue. We're doing the case for a clean start. We're doing the case for integrity in British politics. Uh, give us an insight into what's going on behind the scenes today on the Tom Tugendhat campaign. Are you hitting the phones? Are you talking to colleagues? Because, of course, Parliament doesn't sit today until 2.30. Uh, That's when uh, MPs will arrive back there. What's your plan to keep Tom Tugendhat on that ballot paper? Well, today, uh, a number of us have met with Tom. We've chatted about how he's going to make one or two pitches to the 22 hustings later on. He's also talking at the Conservative Environment Group hustings. We've obviously got plans, as every other campaign has, to talk to colleagues, put our case, suggest that they actually want to listen to what uh, was said over the weekend in these debates, look at who the public want. Yeah, we're, we're hitting the phones, we're talking to colleagues, uh, and Tom is doing the same. And then he'll, I'm sure he'll perform very well at the hustings this afternoon. And I was looking at your um, majority. It's very narrow. You very narrowly uh, won your seat. I think it was 600 and, 600 and odd votes at the last election. So 628. It, it, 28. 628, yeah. I've been in some of those counts. I, I know what they are like. But it really matters to you, doesn't it? <laughs> you know because, of like. course, you are fighting uh, for... for you'll, you'll be fighting for your life at the next election. Uh, so you really must have thought long and hard about who to back. I have, because uh, I've been a Conservative ever since I left university. I believe in the Conservative Party, I believe in values, and I think the Conservative Party provides the best government for this country. But I recognise, and you know, I said straight away, uh, I'm not going to defend the indefensible, and I'm not going to defend uh, behaviour that uh, breaks uh, integrity in politics. And so I have thought really hard about it. I've thought really hard about that point, and I've thought really hard about some of the things that we need to do as the government in the next two years to re-win re the trust of the public and get a winner general election. And you said that you were not going to get involved in blue-on-blue blue attacks. It was pretty savage last night. The briefing is pretty hostile. All those things are on the record. No one can um, delete them from the record. Do you have any advice for the leadership candidates and their teams to rein it in a bit? I think one of the things that was noticeable last night against Friday night's debate probably was that Tom said rather less because actually he didn't want to get involved in those. My, my advice to all camps is we have to unite as a party. We're going to have to unite around the next prime minister. We're going to have to unite, unite around a conservative agenda. And if I were them, I would think more carefully about putting their positive case to colleagues this afternoon rather than having a go at each other.